Capitolum duo de tricesimum, pericula maris, lexio prima, versus prima susque versus versum quinquagesimum quintum. Interim, medes et Lydia, vento secundo, per mare inferum, navigare pergunt, ad fretum siculum, id es fretum angustum, qua Sicilia ab Italia disjungitur. Meanwhile, Medus and Lydia continue to sail, with a favourable wind, through the lower sea, to the strait of Sicily, that is, the narrow strait, by which Sicily is divided, is separated from Italy. Gaudent omnes, qui ea nave vehuntur, preter mercatorem, cuius merces necesse fuit e nave eicere. Every one is happy, who is transported by that ship, except for the merchant, whose goods it was necessary to throw out of the ship. Medus vero, multum cogitat, de verbis lidiae, et de tempestate quetam subito cesavit, posquam Lydia dominum suum invocavit. But Medus is thinking a lot about Lydia's words and about the storm, which so suddenly ceased after Lydia called upon her lord. Ut tempestas mare tranquillum turbavit, Ita verba lidiae animum medi turba veirunt. As the storm troubled the calm sea, so Lydia's words have troubled Midas's mind. Lydia amicum sum colore mutavise anima advertit, et quid pales inquit utrum egrotas anteritus es. Lydia notices that her boyfriend has changed color and says, Why are you pale? Are you unwell or are you scared? Non e groto inquit medis, corpus quidem sanum est mihi, animus vero turbatus, quis est ille dominus tuus, qui mare deventi obedire videntur, I am not unwell, says Medus. Indeed, my body is healthy, but my mind is disturbed. Who is that lord of yours, whom the sea and the wind seem to obey? Non meus tantum, sed omnium hominum est dominus, et Romanorum, et Gregorum, et Barbarorum. He is not my lord only, but the lord of all human beings, both of Romans and of Greeks and of barbarians. Utrum homo an Deus es? Is he a human being or a god? Christus es Dei Filius, qui homo factus est. Christ is the Son of God who became a human being. In obido Bethlehem, natus est. In Judea, patria Judeorum. Que inter Siriam et Egyptum sita est. He was born in the town of Bethlehem, in Judea, the homeland of the Jews, which is located between Syria and Egypt. Eo venerunt reges, qui stella meus viderant in Oriente, et in venerunt puerum cum Maria, matre eus, et adora verunt eum, velut deum. Thither came kings, who had seen his star in the east, and they found the child with Mary, his mother, and they worshipped him just as a god, just like a god. Postea, Christus ipse plane demonstravit se esse filium dei, nam discipulos docebat, Quorum mania turba eum sequebatur, 
Egro Sanabat. Afterwards, Christ himself clearly showed that he was the Son of God, for he was teaching his disciples, a great crowd of whom were following him. He was healing the sick. Omnis medic was it facet. Every doctor does that. Qui medicus verbis solis potes facere, ut homines ceci videant, surdi auriant, muti loquantur, claudi ambulant. Which doctor can bring it about by his words alone that blind men see, that deaf men hear, that mute men speak, that lame men walk? Potes ne dominus, tuus heg facere? Can your Lord do these things? Profecto potest. In Judea, Jesus non solum faciebat, ut ceci viderent, surdi audirent, muti loquerentur, verum etiam verbis efficiebat, ut mortui surgerent et ambularent certainly can. In Judea, Jesus was not only bringing it about that the blind were seeing, that the deaf were hearing, and that the mute were speaking, but also he was bringing it about by his words that the dead were rising and walking. Ex universa Judea homines egri, qui famam de factis eius mirabilibus audiverant, ad eum conveniebant. Postremo tamen, Jesus Christus ab improbis hominibus necatus est. From all Judea, sick men, who had heard the rumor about his marvelous deeds, were coming to him. Nevertheless, in the end, Jesus Christ was killed by wicked men. Quid non vivit dominus tuus? What? Your Lord is not alive? Imo vero vivit, nam tertio die, Jesus surrexit a mortuis, et quadragesimo die, post, in Shalom ascended. On the contrary, he lives. For on the third day, Jesus rose from the dead. And on the fortieth day after, he went up into heaven. Immortalis as filius Dei, sicut pater eius, Deus vivus. Homines mortales nascuntur ac moriuntur, Deus immortalis semper vivet. The Son of God is deathless, just like his Father, the living God. Mortal human beings are born and they die. The immortal God lives always. Sed ipsa male naro, ex hoc libello recitabo tibi aliquid. But I myself tell the story poorly. I will read to you, I will read aloud to you something from this little book. Lydia Libellum, quem ad hoc intra vestem ocultavit, promet et medo ostendit. Lydia takes out a little book and shows it to Medus, a little book which, until then, she uh, has hidden within her clothing. Qui manum extendens libellum apprehendit, et qui liberes iste inquit. Medus, reaching out his hand, takes hold of the book, and says, Which book is this? Scriptus est a quodam judeo, nomine Matteo, 
quisimus cum Christo vixet, et discipulus eius fuit. In hoc libro Mateus, quis suis oculis auribusque dominum nostrum viderat et audiverat, dicta et facta eius memorat. It was written by a certain Jew, by the name of Matthew, who lived together with Christ and was his disciple. In this book, Matthew, who had seen and had heard our Lord with his own eyes and ears, recalls his words and his deeds. <laughs> 